Hey guys and welcome to Top Channel 101 and today we're going to be making a movie establishing shot like this using Blender. Uh, the project's files are going to be on my Patreon, Gumroad and my YouTube community page. I'll find all the links in the description. Yeah, so what I did is I started by setting up the world and I added an HDRI image. I got that from HDRI Heaven. I wanted something detailed with a good amount of clouds uh, because that was going to take up half of the space in the shot. I went on to work on the water or the lake and uh, I used some noise displacement just to add some level of distortion to the lake. As you can see from the render there, there is a bit of distortion or displacement in the water. It's not too much because I don't want to overwhelm uh, the, the entire space. But uh, Yeah, so I, I did that and then I worked on this mountain using some sculpting. A very, very simple sculpting. You don't really have to do much at all. You just have to get a clay brush, I think is what I used. Uh, just do a few brush strokes. And I'm using my texture folders here to just import in uh, PBR textures really easily. It's just a uh, link, any folders you have that contain your textures and uh, it will access them quite easily. And now I'm creating uh, these snow capped uh, uh, rocks. So they have rocks. I'm, I'm just using a normal map uh, to generate a mask. Uh, just getting all the faces that are pointing up and are generating a mask from that. Uh, to make the snow, I just use a noise map and uh, add, fade that into a bump map uh, to get some normal map displacement into that. And uh, yeah, basically it's very, very simple. So after that, I wanted to have some depth. So I, I imported in these uh, fake volume planes. Uh, it's just a, a gradient uh, of uh, animation and a transparency. Add fake mist or uh, volume uh, to that. Uh, you can use a volume object, but uh, I found this to, to render faster and even actually look better than a volume object. They create that nice transition of uh, clouds to atmosphere really nice. And um, here I'm adding some bit of detail to the water, as you can see. Uh, the thing I did is that uh, you look at the water, um, some area are usually noisy and some area are really clean like that. So uh, I added a mix to noise, one with a light noise uh, to have areas with no no displacement, uh, like you see there. So some areas are noisy, some areas are not, uh, to get that level of detail uh, that you saw in the shot. Um, yeah, so basically these are just using, I'm just using the same techniques that I've done several times. And uh, yeah, also duplicating these rocks that we sculpted and uh, putting them in different areas. And because we have these depth planes, these planes are helping with showing depth of our scene, which is uh, really great. I'm using my asset library here. Uh, to import in some assets I made and I'm also still giving them the same rock uh, rock with snow material that we created uh, previously there and uh, him just adding the animation. Uh, this is going to be an establishing shot so just a single camera moving and panning up like that. Yeah, one thing you want to do with these light scenes is have a lot of high frequency uh, details. You want to have a lot of tiny details like rocks, small rocks like that. That's why you see I'm getting these large rocks and shrinking them down at, to add that small detail in there because if it's if it's lacking then your landscapes are going to look very smooth and uh, yeah so i created I, I imported in this rock and i uh, gave it the same uh snow effect and uh, i'm going to instance it onto the lake uh, so what i did is i uh, created this i distributed a, a few planes on uh on the lake and uh I distributed them in a way that, uh, because I remember that area where we have clean water and uh, turbulent water, that is a bit noisy. I wanted to have that pattern in the rocks as well, because that's what you see in uh, in real life. You see a lot of areas with a lot of rocks or surface debris and uh, areas that are clean. So to create that pattern, I distributed a few planes using geometry nodes and I used a noise, a noise texture uh, to make sure that not everywhere you don't have we don't have every we don't have every area of the lake occupied with these uh, rocks so that's why you see i distributed the and uh, uh so i got this so you can see some areas are still clean and some areas are, are very have a lot of debris like that so that gave us a very realistic uh, look uh, and i was looking at a lot of reference images and uh, that's that's what they were that's that's what i was seeing so i tried to replicate that and uh I made different layers of these rocks. All you have to do is just dupl duplicate the same thing you've done and I uh, just uh, change the scale of the rocks. So I think I had three to four layers, some medium rocks and then some large rocks. I added uh, a mountain uh, that I have. I usually keep in my library uh, just a quick asset 
uh, that I can import uh, quickly if I want uh, rocks or mountains and that's what I did. I also gave, gave it that the same material of uh, snow and rock uh, there to give it a uh, detail. I'm still adding in detail, uh, making sure that I have medium details, small details and uh, the large uh, detail with the mountain uh, as you can see uh, there. And uh, I think, uh, yeah, that's, that's it. Uh, all the, the project files are going to be in the description if you want to check, if you want to check out the project file. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next uh, video. I added a, a mirror computer there just to add in some extra time to it. And uh, I ran up.